going, we don't need roads. Hey, gentlemen, good to see you both again. I truly, truly love this show. And seriously, thank you for taking the time. I appreciate thank you. Thank you, Jake. Is this, is it, you got a big snowstorm, don't you? It's coming in. Or? Uh, we got some rain coming this oh, way. Okay. All right. Good to hear that. But don't worry. I'm, I'm, I'm safe inside. Uh, but Mr. Douglas, I'm actually going to start with you. And, and this is a big question. Um, but I want you to imagine that you're able to sit down on the couch next to Benjamin Franklin and maybe binge a few episodes of this series. And when it's over, lean over and ask him, what did you think about how I did this? What is the aspect of your performance that you would love to get his thoughts on? Well, I never quite understand how it, this gentleman, in just creating this Declaration of Independence country, goes over to the biggest monarchy in the world, France, with Louis XVI, and is able to woo and seduce them into giving the amount of money uh, to support uh, this new democracy over a period of time, and they and they really they really went deep. I mean, as far as the, the French government to how much they supported it, and also the reminder just for everybody that if it wasn't for France, we would not have an America. I mean, that's 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 just the truth, which I don't think is spoken about uh, enough. With all due respect to our close alliance with England. Um, and no, but uh, fr France was really uh, uh, the, the reason that America exists. It's it's an incredible story, honestly. But but you know, it's funny. Speaking of of um, getting notes from people, so Noah, I know you have obviously played a few real people in your career, and obviously while you you couldn't speak with with the grandson of Ben Franklin, Peter Miles was around, Shia LaBeouf was around, who you each played uh, whenever you filmed. I'm sort of curious uh, of the real people you've played. What's the most interesting note? you've ever received from a real person you were actually portraying? Um, man. I mean, when I did uh, Honey Boy with Shia, I had some, you know, <laughs> had some wild experiences there and some some wild notes. I think um, I think one of the things that was, was really interesting, um, particularly because uh, Shia was so close uh, to the project um, because he was in it as well and writing it, um, whereas Peter Miles, I met very briefly at the premiere, actually, he drove me up to the, the red carpet, which was very, very cool. Um, anyway, um, yeah, so, so, um, but with Shia, he was there and he would kind of see, you know, all the work that I was putting in. And, um, you know, one time he kind of turned around and he was like quite emotional and he was just like, how do you, like, how do you make my life like work? you know, because I was working as an actor and he's like, how do you make all of my pain and you put it all into like, you know, something that you can work on? Like, how is that even possible? Um, and yeah, I, th I, I was thinking about it and I was like, wow, that is true. You know, it, for me, it's work and I'm, it's a character, but for him, it's, it's everything. Um, it was, I just think that's really trippy and yeah. It was a remarkable performance. Seriously, it really was incredible. Uh, Mr. Douglas, I'm going to cut you guys loose on this. I do love that this series focuses on a very spe a specific period of Benjamin Franklin's life, because honestly, you really could do 10 seasons on his entire life. So sort of coming from that idea, if someone were going to make an eight episode limited series about a specific period of your career, what is the professional era that you think would make for the, the most interesting series? I would think the start, you know, probably the fact that um, starting as an actor and then being Sp spun off into producing One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, and which I never anticipated, probably. Uh, but but I don't think you want to stick around for eight hours to uh, to see that. You know, <laughs> it doesn't come close to Ben Franklin. Uh, it's a different story, but I would be there for every uh, single episode. Uh, yeah. <laughs> sure. uh, well, they're giving me the wrap, gentlemen. I could keep okay. talking a thousand more questions, but seriously, congratulations on this, and uh, thank you for taking the time. Thanks, Thanks man. Appreciate Have a good day. Good to see you, guys. Good to see you again. Bye bye. Good to see you. Well, we're going. We don't need roads.